Um, but Steve Harvey sat down and that nigga said something to the effect of black women are traditionally making more money than black men in the world now. And at some point you're going to have to accept that you're going to be making more money than the man that you, that you probably should be spending the rest of your life with. He said it in a way that women didn't take kindly to because he, he went to like extremes. He was like Tyler Perry, bro. Steve Harvey. Because Tyler Perry said something damn near the Was same. it Tyler? It was Tyler. It was Tyler. There we go. It was one of them bitches. like Steve Harvey. It's, it's one of them bitch ass niggas. Uh, <laughs> one of them bitch ass niggas. One of them bitch ass niggas. Yeah, so Tyler Perry was like, he, he went to the extreme of the, the nigga might yeah, only be able only to pay, to pay the, the light bill. bill. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And you know, people people are, are verbatim people. They're they well, going to take you at what you said. Yeah. But uh, my, the conversation I was having with women I was around the past couple of days was, that they don't feel like a man can take not being a breadwinner in his house. Okay. That's you had the same reaction that I had. A lot of men can't though. You think so? You th- I'm say like some men. Is it, is it ego driven? Yes. Yeah. Most definitely. You Most know what? Them. You know what? I said it's to definitely okay an ego thing. for me. Uh huh. I don't give a fuck. But what Damo said is actually true. A lot of niggas. Cannot take that their they spouse want to make more bread yeah. than them. or significant other making more problem. bread than them. It you, you want me to say what you, you want me to say I, what, you, what you meant? Go Just ahead. Like, yeah. Houses looking for tricks. That's kind of what you what you. I mean, nah. tricks is looking for hoes. No, nah, that's not what. I was. But he, he was ain't talking saying, about broke hoes. He talking about he talking about he talking about the women that's out there getting, getting it. money. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But even the broke hoes is looking for the niggas with the money. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go ahead and say it. It's Blacks. A, it's a lot of bad bitches that that's getting money. Yeah. Uh-huh. And a lot of niggas want a bad bitch. Yeah. So the bad bitches that's getting a bag don't want a nigga who make less money than them. Yeah. But are we, okay. A lot of them don't. Because you use the term bad bitches, so it's kind of throwing me off. Yeah, that's, that's a relative uh, statement. Yeah. I'm, I, I want to more so geared towards the people that actually just, you know, actually like people. Just, okay. <laughs> they actually like you love people. the people that they're in relationships with. Yeah, that, that, that's it. Could it be that? Could it be that? Now there are. I, I do think I do attribute some of it to male ego. I do, but that's the number one. Could yeah. it also be that some women? I don't want to. Oh, yeah. Watch how you say this. Don't know how to make more money. Don't don't know no. Don't know themselves how to handle making more money yep. than they man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's most definitely like the number one. <laughs> yeah, I, I, had to fix it. I, I cleaned it up real good. That's number one on both Cause, sides. Because yeah. speak, speaking out of my head, it was like, <laughs> yeah. that's going to get you yeah. fucked up. Because you can't, they're, they're, a woman I've can make more money, but if you. I've literally seen it, bro. Because the second talk biggest. Her, cause, man, because cause, she make more money than him. Because yeah. the second biggest thing that people were hitting on in this, in this, in this little excerpt was. The submissive word, and that's just, that that that's just been the the trigger word for women for the past couple like decade for the past decade now. They hate the word submissive, and I think it's all a misunderstanding of the word. In submissive general. and combative are two that words video that just don't. Uh, when the people was getting married, I yeah, be, I be fucking with Keith. I seem like, bro, you ain't obeying, you ain't being obedient. She be like, bro, do but, not do not <laughs> that, say that. For instance, that that's a big deal to some some people, bro. Like I don't left, I, I told you. I don't let fire stay at that fucking altar. Obey. What? They I'm like what? You serious? All right, y'all. Let's be real, man. Y'all eat up all this food. Enjoy the party. Food. Enjoy the party, man. Love Play, y'all. Uh, Sorry y'all came out for this. But uh, that's it, man. It's been real. Oh uh, yeah, I don't. I don't believe anybody. Ha- if you want to be in a relationship and you want to be married, you're gonna have. There are some things that that's on your list that's just gonna have to give, bro. You not like Every- I, I, I was trying to explain this shit to my wife. I was like, nine times I, m- women are making more than men these days. Point blank, period. A lot of times because nine mm-hmm. times ten women are finishing their educations more than men Correct. these days. So then, off top, if you want a man, a black man at that that makes as much money as you, <coughs> your dating pool. If if I'm talking about okay. Let's, let's let's just talk about the six figure the, the six figure bitches. Which, we go, we, we, go, we gonna start off with the six figure bitches, which is only one percent. The women making over six figures. If you're looking for a black man that is also legally making over six figures, 
your dating pool of of the if we have if we start with a hundred percent of black men, it's, that pie is, is is already down to like thirty percent. It's lower than that. I, I want to say it's like twelve. Then you know how bitches get material. Well, sorry, respectfully, we, we lost. some women get material. Nigga got to be over six foot. Hey. No kids. Hey. <laughs> Fuck you, really. Got to be a superhero. <laughs> Shout out to God. You got, like, it's, you, like, Steve, I heard Steve Harvey say this shit, too, even though he a lying-ass nigga. This made sense. He asked a woman, she was like, well, shit, I can't find nobody out there. He was like, what, what's on your list? And six figures, he got to be six feet tall. He got to have his own house. He got... He but said, what does she got? What do you have? And what if what if you meet that guy and you not the shit on his list? Got him. Oh, she oh, got quiet than the motherfucker. That'd be offended than a the motherfucker then. How? It's, because it's, it's it's the reverse. Well, I just they can't I, take what they dish. I think a lot of people don't realize like how I much compromise is required <laughs> for a relationship to work. What I do? What you say, really? R- r- run that back? They I came said, up. They, man, fuck. Whoa, wait, wait, what happened? <laughs> hey, look, I said it on Twitter, too. I don't give a fuck. Women are allowed to say some of the most outlandish bullshit about the opposite sex, and, and you're, you're allowed to just take it. Women, and, and if men said the exact same shit. I'm letting you cook. Thank you. And, <laughs> and if men said the exact same shit, we would be butchered at the stake. Women can give you their reason for cheating. They could give you their reason for flirting with somebody else. They could give you their reason for not, for leaving their kids. They Bitch could give you their reasons. Reason to cheat. I mean, no, I mean, but they, for they, leaving, they no, argue they, they, Yeah, yeah you know. It, it, if a woman says, I felt unloved, I felt unappreciated, I don't feel like you was putting in the same so effort, blah, 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 blah. And some nigga made me feel special and I gave that nigga some pussy after a while. If you tell a if woman. If you tell a woman you made me feel unloved, unspecial, unattentive, and you weren't giving your best foot forward no more, she going to miss everything you fucking said and still land on, but you fucked another bitch. I'm going to jail. I fucking kill you, my nigga. Both of them. Uh, Actions. The tweet that, that they got niggas in my <laughs> mentions the other day, somebody said, imagine a nigga coming home to it. his wife and kids and telling them that I'm, I'm leaving you and the kids because I think y'all are stopping my progress and where I want to be in life. Imagine a man coming home to his wife telling him that shit. A lot of Ain't times, no nigga gonna be a lot like, of t- hold on. A lot of times, niggas just don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to say those things. They don't even say it. They just I, they I, just I, go. I, they so, get the I was more so talking about people that actually sign papers and, and shit. But I know there are like niggas that just walk the <laughs> fuck out. Niggas who go to the store and don't come back. Yeah, never come back. That milk. But is, I'm just saying <laughs> that speech oh. has been. That speech is in movies. It's in TV shows. It's in music. Yeah. It's it's everywhere for women. You know why you don't see it for men? Because they would accept that shit. that shit. Fly. Well, unless a bitch named Sunshine. <laughs> People are funny, bro. I'm men I'm, ain't allowed to say shit. You know what's funny to me? Yeah, Honestly, shit. like the double standard. This this war that's going on right now. The gender wars between black. No, I want to go to other people. Gender wars. Sockets. I want to go to other yes. uh, social media. I want to see what white people argue about all day. Men and women are like I haven't even thought about that. at yeah, an all time. Like it's so bad. I'm just like that's all I see on, but you on social an media. But, but, but you forgot an adjective, and, that, and that's what made me think that what black. it's this. This is a black man and black woman argument all day, every day. Nah, I don't see white people engaging in these stupid arguments unless unless they want the traffic from black people on their social. I'll media. I'll just say this: like the the feminist movement is booming right now, right? And men are tired of getting shat on. Yeah. And it to honestly, from my perspective, it's not just a black thing. It's a black, white, Hispanic. Women just are hating men and men are hating women. Like, literally, just all across the board. It's not a black thing. Oh, I got you in that. I think That's more what so, I'm talking about. I think more so in the debate and what's acceptable and what's right what's wrong. considered a sacrifice to, to be in a relationship and shit like that. I think... What, and then to me, those are only that's all that's on my timeline. So I have to, I see what I you're have to engage you with that. On that, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I I think it's because as a people, black people like finally getting they just do re, in the regards of uh, financial stability, uh, whether or not 
you know, women or men, it don't really matter what sex it is, but just getting some level of equality in the workforce uh-huh. or at least coming up, like, that's that's a win for us. And a lot of times, like, people don't realize how common it is for, let's just say, a, a less melanated individual to get a great job just because of X, Y, Z. I feel you. I feel you. I, <laughs> I think the biggest common denominator all that shit, and especially in the shit that uh, Tyler Perry, right, right now, <laughs> was talking about is respecting communication. Like, even if you, like, my wife was, when I met her, for most of our, the early part of our marriage, I made more, and then she made more, and then I made more, and now she's about to be whooping my ass in the bank account department for the, for you know, for right now. Got yeah. you. I'm, I'm going to catch up to her ass again. But at any point in time where she was making more money than me, I never felt disrespected by her and a lot of times when it came to like bills and what needed to be paid and how shit needed to be budgeted she still came to me about that because that just that's not her thing to begin with in general it's like so how we how we gonna bust this down what's 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 da 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 it's like it's it's all I think it's all in the way you handle people. And I you think just made a good point though. I think it's more than just how you handle people. A lot of times people fall to that word tradition yep. and and, yeah, and tradition blow right past what works for them like mm-hmm. what works for your relationship mm-hmm. like maybe you're not the most responsible person when it comes to finances as a man regardless of how much money you make mm-hmm. should you make the, the 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 make the decisions within the relationship what if what if you suck with finances but you you a beast in the kitchen yeah you know what I'm hey, saying? Man, we like, not the same. We not the same adults as our parents. I just want y'all to realize sure. that. Yeah, oh, we, we not the same adults. Huh? We better. 